Hello? I am here to reveal something amazingly important to you. God is sending me to tell you that tonight something inexplicable and admirable will happen to you. God very much wants you to hear this. You cannot ignore God. You cannot ignore this message so as not to regret it later. I ask you not to tell this to anyone, keep it a secret, and in the end, I will pray with you so that all the blessings that happen in your life come true. So, I beg you do not ignore it. It is important that every time you hear the word receive, or a word that you feel was directed to you, quickly comment, I receive, so that grace is now part of your life. My brother, my sister, stop for a moment and allow me to share something profound with you. Today is not just another ordinary day. It is a day of transformation, a day full of divine possibilities and opportunities that are manifesting. Have you ever contemplated the greatness of this moment in your life? Every new dawn is a gift, a renewed opportunity to experience the love and grace of our Heavenly Father. No matter what challenges you face or what obstacles seem insurmountable, know that on this day, the transformative power of God is working in your favor. I know that sometimes the journey of life can seem like a steep hill full of challenges and obstacles that leave us exhausted and discouraged. Perhaps you are carrying a heavy weight on your shoulders, fighting worries, doubts, or uncertainties that seem overwhelming. It is normal to feel overwhelmed, lost, or discouraged at certain times. However, I want to remind you that you are not alone on this path. God, in His infinite mercy and love, is always by our side, ready to sustain and strengthen us. Even in the most difficult moments, He promised us that He would never leave us nor forsake us and his faithfulness is constant, even when our faith wavers. Today is an invitation to open your heart and mind to the infinite possibilities that God has in store for you. It is time to leave behind self-imposed limitations, paralyzing fears and worries that have obscured your vision. Receive this day as an opportunity to connect more deeply with the divine plan that has been outlined for your life. Allow the light of God's love to dispel all the darkness around you and guide your steps on the path of faith. God wants you to live a prosperous and abundant life. Yes, you have heard it right. The creator of the universe, the one who knows you from the womb, longs for you to experience the fullness of his blessings in all areas of your life. If you are facing a financial crisis, I want to tell you something important. Today is the day of your change of course, if you have heard it correctly. No matter how bleak the situation seems, no matter how difficult the road is, Today is the day when everything can change for the better. God knows your needs. He is aware of your concerns and will not abandon you. He is a God of provision, a God who transforms impossible situations into possibilities, a God who opens doors where there were only walls. If you are mired in debt, struggling to pay the bills, or feeling overwhelmed by the lack of resources, you must know that God has a plan for you that will be revealed. He does not want you to live a life of scarcity and deprivation. On the contrary, He wants you to live with abundance, enjoying all His blessings. Receive this blessing my brother, my sister. Sometimes, in the rush of the day, every day, 
it is easy to get carried away by the worries and challenges that are arisen before us. The pressure of work, family problems, uncertainties, all these elements can surround us like a dense fog, obscuring our vision and undermining our hope. It is as if we were trapped in an endless cycle of worries where each new difficulty seems to only increase the weight we carry on our shoulders. And in this scenario, it is natural that we feel overwhelmed, discouraged, and even desperate for a change. But today, I want to encourage you to take a step back and look beyond the circumstances. Invite yourself to open the eyes of your heart to see the greatness of the present moment because, my friend, this moment is a gift from God to you. It is a unique opportunity to experience his presence, his grace, and his unconditional love. Even in the midst of difficulties, God is working in your life, weaving the details of his perfect plan, guiding your steps, and preparing the way for a future full of hope and promise. Although worries may try to dominate your mind, remember that you are not alone on this journey. Receive this grace. You have a heavenly Father who knows every detail of your life, who is by your side every step of the way. He is the lighthouse that guides your steps in the dark, the light that dispels the shadows of fear and uncertainty. He is the one who can transform even the most difficult situations into challenging opportunities for growth and unexpected blessings. Today is not just another ordinary day. It is a day of transformation, a day full of possibilities and divine opportunities waiting to manifest in your life. Realize that every difficulty you have faced has shaped who you are today, has strengthened your character, and has prepared you for the challenges that are yet to come. Sometimes we find ourselves facing obstacles that seem insurmountable, surrounded by circumstances that make us question our own value and ability. But I tell you, my brother, my sister, do not see difficulties as simple obstacles, but as opportunities for evolution. Every challenge you overcome, every obstacle you face, is an opportunity to grow, learn, and become stronger. Remember all the times you have been tested and emerged victorious. Remember all the battles you have fought and the victories you have won. Each one of these experiences has shaped you, strengthened your faith, and prepared you for the challenges that are yet to come. So do not fear difficulties because they are just opportunities in disguise waiting to be transformed into stepping stones to your success. When you look back and see all the battles that you have faced and overcome, you realize that you are capable of overcoming anything that life puts in your path. Do not let yourself be discouraged by adversity. Instead, see it as an opportunity for growth and evolution because it is in difficulties where we find our true strength and determination. Receive this gift. Face each challenge with cool rage and faith thee. Know that you are not alone because God is always at your side, guiding your steps and strengthening your heart. Trust in his plan for your life and move forward with confidence knowing that every difficulty is an opportunity to become who you were born to be. It is as if God was saying, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will face afflictions, but take heart. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. My beloved son, my dear daughter, these words resonate from my essence to your heart. They are more than just letters printed on a page. They are a balm for your soul, 
a light that guides your path in the darkness of this world. When I said, in this world you will face afflictions, it was not to discourage the people, but to prepare them for the reality of the journey that this world would face. It is marked by challenges, tribulations, and moments of uncertainty. However, it is not the absence of problems that they should focus on, but rather my constant presence in their midst. It is true that the storms of life can shake the foundations of your faith and shake the structures of your being, but know that I have not left you helpless. On the contrary, I have given you the courage and courage necessary to face each adversity with confidence and determination. When you look beyond the unfavorable circumstances, those around you will see the light of hope shining on the horizon because I, the Lord of the universe, have overcome the world. And in me, you find the peace that transcends all human understanding. Even in the darkest moments when fear threatens to suffocate your faith, Remember these words, I have overcome the world. This means that despite temporary afflictions, the final victory has already been conquered by me and you, my beloved children, are participants in that victory. Therefore, lift your heads with confidence because I am with you every step of the way. Do not allow difficulties to stop you because I am greater than any obstacle that may arise. Confident in my promise and strengthened by my love, advance with courage and courage because I have overcome the world and in me, you have peace. If you believe in the power of our Father, comment now, I believe and give everything to you my father, my brother, my sister. What a great challenge and what a great blessing is presented to us in these simple but powerful words from Thessalonians 5.18. Give thanks in all circumstances because this is the will of God to you in Christ Jesus. How wonderful this invitation is, a call to live in constant gratitude regardless of the circumstances we face. How many times do we find ourselves faced with difficult situations, moments of pain, struggles, and adversities, and the last thing we want to do is express gratitude? It seems almost unreal, impossible, and true. Yet it is precisely in those circumstances that we are challenged to give thanks because gratitude transforms our perspective, allowing us to see beyond the immediate difficulties and recognize the blessings that still surround us. When we choose to give thanks, even in the midst of the storm, we are recognizing God's sovereignty over all things and trusting in His loving care for us. Plus, Gratitude keeps us connected to the true source of our joy and hope. Christ Jesus is the center of our lives, and when we recognize him in all things, we find a peace that transcends human understanding. Even in the darkest of circumstances, we can find reasons to be thankful that he is with us, strengthening and sustaining us. By adopting an attitude of gratitude, we not only honor God's will for us, but also experience an inner transformation. Hearts are filled with joy and peace, and we are enabled to face any challenge with courage and faith. Therefore, my beloved brother, my beloved sister, even when the storms of life rage around you, choose to give thanks. Find reasons to celebrate even in the darkest moments. It's difficult because in the midst of adverse circumstances, God's will is for you to experience his constant presence and his unbreakable love. That's why I invite you to descend right now below in the comments 
and leave your comment of gratitude. Thank the Father right now. No matter how small the conquest, as I said, even through the difficulties we can be grateful. So go express your gratitude to our Heavenly Father, my brother, my sister. There is a powerful promise recorded in 2 Chronicles 7.14, a promise that resonates through the ages and reaches our hearts today. It says, If my people who bear my name humble themselves and pray and seek me and abandon their bad behavior, I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin and heal their land. It's a profound invitation to spiritual transformation and restoration. It begins with a simple condition, humility. Humility before God is the key that opens the doors of transformation in our lives. It's recognizing that no matter how skilled, intelligent, or powerful we may be, we are limited and fragile in the face of divine greatness and power. It's understanding that no matter how hard we try, we cannot save ourselves by our own efforts. When we humble ourselves before God, we recognize our absolute dependence on His grace and power. We recognize that we are fallible sinners in need of His forgiveness and mercy. It's as if we were handing over the reins of our lives to the Creator of the universe, fully trusting that He will guide us along the best path. This humility is not a sign of weakness but of spiritual strength. It's understanding that our true greatness lies in recognizing our smallness before the greatness of God. It's as if we were divesting ourselves before God with a broken and contrite heart. In humility, we find freedom and peace. It's as if a weight is lifted from our shoulders because we no longer need to carry the weight of trying to be perfect or justify ourselves before God. We can simply surrender to His will and trust that He will do the best for us that we can cultivate humility in our hearts, recognizing our dependence on God in all areas of our lives, that we can stand before Him with humility and reverence, fully trusting in His grace and His love that sustain us every day. Receive the grace of humility in your life. Prayer is the next step in this process of getting closer to God. More than simple words in the wind, prayer is a direct channel of communication with our Heavenly Father. It's the bond that unites us to the Creator of the universe, a bridge between the finite and the infinite, between the earthly and the divine. It's when we appear before the throne of grace, expressing our longings, our pains, our hopes, and our regrets, it's where we find strength, comfort, and divine direction. Seeking the face of God is a call to a passionate and constant pursuit of God's presence in our lives. It's to desire to know Him more intimately, to be in intimate communion with Him, and to experience His glory and power in a transformative way. It's when we approach Him with our entire being, seeking His guidance and wisdom in every step we take. Receive the grace of prayer. And if you are truly seeking the graces of God, it is essential to stay away from evil paths. We often find ourselves on a spiritual journey in which we long to grow, advance, and experience the fullness of divine grace but we find ourselves trapped by habits, behaviors, or influences that distance us from God's purpose for us. The Bible teaches us in 2 Chronicles 7.14 that to experience forgiveness, healing, and restoration that come from God, it is essential to turn away from our evil ways. This is not only about abandoning sinful or destructive practices, but also about distancing ourselves from everything 
that distances us from the presence and will of God in our lives. The distancing from evil ways is a process of purification and sanctification in which we strip ourselves of everything that imprisons us and prevents us from living a full and abundant life in Christ. It's a daily decision to renounce the sin of disobedience and rebellion and to submit to the Lordship of Jesus in all areas of our lives. This doesn't mean that we will be perfect or that we will never again face struggles and temptations, but it's about being willing to follow the ways of the Lord. Although that requires sacrifice and renunciation on our part, it's a conscious choice to align ourselves with the principles and purposes of God, trusting that He will enable and strengthen us in every step of the way. So if you really want to seek the graces of God in your life, make distancing yourself from evil paths a priority. Take firm steps in the direction of holiness and obedience to the Lord, knowing that He is at your side, ready to forgive, heal, and restore as you completely surrender to His love and will. May this be your constant pursuit, and may your life be transformed by the grace and power of God. Receive all that God has for you today, brother, sister. At this very moment, God is working in your life, restoring your health and renewing your strength. Yes, you heard correctly. No matter what illness you face, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, God is present, ready to bring healing and restoration. It's incredible to think of the love and care that our Heavenly Father has for us. He knows every detail of our being, from the most intimate thought to the smallest cell of our body, and it's precisely because of that incomparable love that He does not want to see us suffer or weaken, but rather to enjoy a full and healthy life in all areas. Therefore, at this moment, I encourage you to open your heart and receive the powerful manifestation of God's healing power. Leave aside any doubt or uncertainty and believe with faith that He is restoring your health, strengthening your body, and renewing your mind. Visualize yourself receiving that divine healing. Imagine yourself full of vigor and vitality, ready to face each day with energy and disposition. Remember that God's healing goes beyond the physical aspect. It also reaches the emotional and spiritual dimension. He not only restores our body, but also calms our mind and renews our emotions. Strengthen our faith. Therefore, surrender yourself completely to the healing power of God, trusting that He is working in your life in a supernatural and extraordinary way. I declare that you are healed physically and spiritually in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, God is restoring not only your health, but also your relationships and your finances. Yes, you heard correctly. Our Heavenly Father is an expert in restoring what is broken, renewing what is worn out, and transforming what seems impossible to human eyes. When we look at our lives, it is common to encounter difficult situations in our relationships. Fights, resentments, misunderstandings. But you must know that God is the God of reconciliation. He is capable of restoring any relationship, no matter how deteriorated it may seem. He knows the hearts and intentions of each person involved and is working behind the scenes to bring healing, forgiveness, and restoration to your relationships. Also, God cares about your financial situation. He does not want you to live under the weight of debt and financial worries. On the contrary, he wants to bless you abundantly 
by supplying all your needs and granting you prosperity in all areas of your life. Trust him and recognize that he is the faithful provider that never fails. Therefore, at this moment, I encourage you to surrender to God all your relationships and financial concerns. Put before him every person with whom you have had conflicts, every area of your financial life that needs divine intervention. Believe that he is working in your favor, bringing peace to your relationships and providing for all your financial needs according to his riches in glory. May divine restoration manifest powerfully in your life, bringing peace, harmony, and prosperity in all areas. Amen. We look forward to witnessing the graces that have come to your life. Do not stop subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell to exclusively receive blessed messages from God every day. Hey, two videos have just appeared that are the real keys to the problem you are going through. Tap quickly before they disappear. Amen.